Hello everyone. Um, so through this video, we're going to be talking about a subject that Sarah and me both are very passionate about, and that is resilience and how we can build our resilience in our day to day lives. So Sarah, would you like to share a couple of your top tips when it comes to building your own resilience? I would love to. Um, so tip number one is um, just gaining that self-awareness, first of all, um, particularly of the kind of thoughts and internal chatter that you might have at different points. Um, so we don't tend to find it's much of a problem when our, uh, we're feeling good and we're enjoying ourselves. But resilience is about also being able to sort of bounce back when times are more difficult. Mm -hmm. And in those difficult times, um, we can find that our self-talk can get more negative um, or we might find that we're kind of overthinking certain things and our heads are just too full. Mm -hmm. um, so the first step is to become aware of that and start to become aware of the language you're using. Because often you might find you start saying things like, I should, you know, I should do this, I should do that. And um, sometimes we need to change that thinking into could, you know, or I could go out for a walk right now and that might help my headspace, or I could go and play an instrument or do something creative. Mm -hmm. And then it makes it feel like more of an opportunity rather than a sort of hindrance towards your building your resilience. Um, so being aware of your self talk is one thing. A second tip. Um, that I personally found very useful is thinking about the circle of control. Mm -hmm. um, so what that means is um, it's a reflection tool um, to help you focus on things that you actually have control and autonomy over. So a handy way to do it is to draw two big circles on a piece of paper. So an inner circle and then a big outer circle. Mm -hmm. And in the outer circle, write down all the things that you can't control. Um, so it might be other people's behavior, it might be uh, other things happening in the world right now, like big events and things, it might be the weather, uh, all these things we can't control. Yeah. But then in the inner circle, you write down what you can control. Mm. So that might be your own behavior, it might be your own choices, it might be how you choose to react to things that happen to you. Mm. And sometimes it's helpful to help you see, am I focusing on something I can't actually control? And what about the situation can I control and try and find that link between the two? So I can't control the weather, but I can control what I take out with me in the day and how much time I take to prepare that. Yeah. Um, so that's a lovely way to build your resilience. And then the last tip I would like to give um, is a kind of mental imagining visual tip. So creative, you know, that's my up my uh, up my street is to imagine um, a couple of care dials, I'll call them. So if you imagine some like visual dials, like the dial on an oven, for example, right. uh, try and imagine a couple of dials. Uh -huh. And maybe you've got a work dial here. Maybe you've got like a home dial here. Maybe you've got a friends and family dial. Um, whatever dials work for you. And if you find one's turned up a bit too high and you're caring about something a bit too much, let's say on work, you've got like admin is really high and you're really caring about that admin and you're having a lot of thoughts about that admin, but now you're actually out of work and you're not wanting to focus on that admin mm -hmm. so much, then maybe visually turn down that care dial a little bit and say, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to slowly turn that down and I'm actually going to turn up my friends and family when I want to focus more on them I want to put my care and attention on them and sometimes just taking that moment to visualize that can help you kind of just refocus and take a bit more control over some of those uh, un unhelpful thoughts that you might be having so those are some top tips I hope they were useful and help you build your resilience yeah thank you very much for sharing and I, I quite like the, the care that one I think I'm going to try and use that because uh, I think it's very especially uh, given the current situation where we're mostly at home you know it mm. can be difficult to turn off and turn on something because you're just basically all the time turned on so it's nice yeah. to bring in that visual in fact uh, so thank you very much for sharing Sarah and if you would like to know a little bit more about all the well-being, resilience, confidence building programs that we run, uh, feel free to check out our website. It's fallintoplace.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.